<sighs> Hello. Well, this is kind of different from what I'm normally used to doing on this channel. Uh, but at the same time, I guess it's not because it's still got something to do with some nerd stuff. As I'm sure most of you are all aware that the uh, PS5 Special Edition and the also like the replacement plates have uh, released on PlayStation and like other retailers. And you know, personally... They're fine. I, I think they're. Uh, I think they look pretty cool. They're. You know. There's no, nothing special. Kind of disappointed on Sony because I think they could have did a lot better. But I guess that's that's what I'm here to do. <coughs> PSA. I am not a professional artist. I do this shit. <laughs> I do this shit very, 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 very infrequently. Is that the word? I guess. This is like Collins World ASMR. <sighs> Anyways, y'all are here to see me customize this PS5, so uh, let's do that. And funny enough, as I was going outside to spray paint the uh, PS5 plates, I got something in the mail. Well, ain't that some shit. So the first thing I had to do was sandpaper the PS5. I didn't record me doing that because you don't want to watch that. But anyways, I spray painted one of the plates white, and then I spray painted the other side red, and you'll see why. Actually, not you, you probably see it on screen right now. It's because I had to put stencils over it and then spray paint it again. Then I had to peel off the tape and stencils. And this is what they both kind of looked like after the stencils came off. Now, I did go in and, like, outline all the different panels in black because, like, I like the black trim more than I like the white trim. Or I, I, I technically it's metallic. I think Insomniac said that the trim around, like, the suit right here is, like, metallic or some shit. I didn't care. I like it better when it looks black. But did I record me outlining everything in black? No. No, I don't think I will. Listen, bro. It may have been satisfying to watch but it would have been a pain in the ass for me to record. But I will show you guys a little bit of me painting in the blue part. Then I laid out a stencil for some of that symbiote semen, the uh, venom juice, if you will. And you know, when I was painting this, I had the idea to like not really paint it normally. Like I wanted to make the like the paint texture look really like rough and like tacky because like there's symbiote tentacles. So, you know, it was, yeah. But then when I was done, I pulled the stencil off and I saw that the paint was starting to peel off with it. And this has happened to me like twice in the past when I've customized my PS5 because the PS5 is like the most egregious thing to customize. And at this point I was like, oh my god i'm fucked I, i'm gonna have to redo this whole fucking thing but then i remembered where the symbiote tentacles come from so the paint peeling off and it looking a little messy it was like i had venom in my head just going like never back down never what never give up yeah i want it louder though never back down never what never give up never back down never what Never give up! So I think the stencils like peeling off was actually like worked to my benefit. But it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows because I still had to go in and like touch some things up. And then I moved on to Miles' side and I kind of dreaded this because like what I'm about to do I've never done before. Now I initially started off using stencils as like a guideline to like help me draw the lightning out. Because again, I I've never drawn lightning before I did a lightning design ever. But then I stopped using the stencil because just like a virgin, the longer it went on, the smoother and more confident my stroke got. But that wasn't even the part of it I dreaded the most. The part of it I dreaded the most was doing this part, and that was airbrushing it. And my airbrush, when I started using it, it kind of, like, started speckling out and, like, being all weird because I haven't used it in, like, over a year from when I used to, like, custom my shoes. But I honestly liked how it turned out, and, you know, like Bob Ross says, And I know this is going to look like we're destroying everything. Don't worry about it. We don't make mistakes. We have happy accidents. And speaking of how it turned out, uh, this, this was the result.
Hopefully y'all liked how the design turned out. I personally really like it. If you want to make this for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description to like all the stencil cutouts if you like have a stencil machine and you like do art type shit. But I'll leave a link in the description for all the Cricut designs that I made and used for this. Of course, some of it you are going to have to do by hand like the lightning. But yeah, hopefully y'all enjoyed this. I want to give a shout out to all my Patreons. If you would like to support me on Patreon, it's only $2 a month then I would really appreciate it. You get the debate role in my Discord for when I go live and do like debate streams. You get early early access to my videos, you get ad-free videos, you can give me suggestions for videos that I will consider heavily, and uh, yeah, thank you all for watching.